Hey everybody, Ryan Medora here, and I'm coming to you with my good friend Derek Phillips from the Family Room Studios. Welcome in, y'all. Y'all literally in the Family Room. And we're here <laughs> just recording some bass and drum grooves. Um, we had put out the 12 Bar Blues Survival Pack, and we had a lot of people wondering, oh, what other grooves can we play? Can you talk a little bit more about these grooves? So we figured, why not? Let's do it. Um, if you want to grab the 12 Bar Blues Survival Pack, you can go to ryanmedora.com and get it from my online store. Um, and it just has a breakdown of all different kinds of blues grooves that you should know whether you're a bass player or a drummer and you want to go hit the blues jams. And so today what we're going to talk about is what I call the fast funky blues, which is kind of like a more up-tempo funky blues um, in the realm of Honey Hush by Albert Collins. And uh, we're going to talk about the groove and how we can kind of like take elements of that and come up with other grooves to play along to it with a similar theme. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Derek, do you want to tell me a little bit about the drum groove that you're playing for this? Absolutely. Well, full disclosure, um, Ryan, Ryan, I, Ryan and I were talking about this, and she started playing a bass line. And as soon as she started playing, I thought about the song Tramp by Otis Redding, also, made, also sampled and repurposed by salt and Peppa um, in the 80s, for those of you that listen to hip-hop in the 80s. But <laughs> so, so I instantly went to that groove, which is just a basic groove where the kick is on beats one and then plays on three and and then it's and then it's a straight eighth notes on the hi-hat and then the hi, the left hand has the back beats on two and four but it adds a little rough um at the end of the phrase so it sounds something like this one two three four so again i took that and then use it as my template and then I am put embellishments I added the the roughs in different places I opened up the hi-hat on the on the downbeats and I kind of use that as again as a marker to um, delineate the chord progression and the end of phrases so it'll sound like this. this is what I actually played so, so that's what I came up with when I was inspired after I heard um, Ryan Medora play those amazing bass notes. Well, now I'm inspired, and uh, <laughs> I love hearing just the drum groove because I think that when we uh, f try to figure out what to play as bass players, usually we need something like a groove prompt. This is something that's either like a tempo from a metronome or a chord progression that we're playing from or a drum groove, and you really have the best groove prompts. So, you know, in yeah. response to what you're doing, I think for me, I know that, hey, I'm playing through a regular 12-bar blues form, I'm playing in the key of C, and I know that the original bass part for this used a lot of chromaticism, so kind of moving in half steps. And I'm deciding to kind of repurpose that idea, but to change it a little bit. And so I'm starting on my root note with kind of like a one and to kind of like mimic some of the groove that is set up from the drums. And then I'm using my C, my root note is my one and. And then I'm doing a little bit of a chromatic motion from a minor third to a major third, or an E to E flat. So I'm starting here on my eighth fret with the C, and then playing the sixth fret into the seventh fret to get the E flat to the E on my A string. And then I'm kind of doing a little walk up at the end where I'm going from the B flat, the flat seventh, going up to B natural to land at the C. So this groove, instead of going kind of like fully chromatic like you would do if you're playing something like Honey Hush. I'm kind of playing the root notes, a little chromatic, minor third to major third, back to the root note, and then a little flat seven, natural seven, back to our root. So it kind of sounds like this. And then I'm taking that through our 12 bar form, moving it to F, the four chord, back to C, then down to G, and I do a little bit of a something something on those other chords to kind of like fit the 12 bar form, but in general, kind of taking inspiration from this chromatic groove, coming up with a new way of playing it, and uh, really trying to respond to what the drums are doing. Absolutely. So, so I feel like that's super fun. I kind of just want to play it again. Yeah, I mean, I don't see a problem with that. I think we should. <laughs> so um, if you want to get tab, notation, things like that, check out the 12 Bar Blues Survival Pack at RyanMedora.com. You'll get backing tracks, all the good stuff to play along with this groove and plenty of others. And in the meantime, uh, we're going to play it out, play this groove a little bit more. Let's do it. And one, two, three. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
That's how it is. There it is.